four to 20 milliamp signals are really versatile because we can get a lot more information about a device than simply on or off. But it also makes them much more difficult to troubleshoot because we can't simply put a voltmeter on them and expect 24 volt or 5 volt. <laughs> So usually you're going to connect something like this to simulate your sensor that you think is bad. But what if our sensor's not the problem? What if it's actually in our wiring or a fuse or something like that? If we disconnect one of the wires from the SIM ALP2 to simulate a wire break or a fuse blown or something like that, then it's going to come up with this open wire banner. That means that it can't drive a 4 to 20 milliamp signal through our circuit. So if you see that when you try to simulate your sensor, then start looking for blown fuses or loose wires or corroded connections. But before we can troubleshoot a 4 to 20 milliamp circuit, we need to understand the difference between a two wire and a four wire device. And click here to learn more about that.